Now you'll see how Ronnie Radke changed from his early age to now, as well as learn all the most interesting things about him. Enjoy watching! Ronnie Radke was born in bright and shiny Las Vegas, but his childhood was far from glittering. His dad was a biker and his mom came from the Blackfoot Indian nation and had Portuguese roots. Ronald grew up with his two brothers in a poor single-parent family. Due to severe addiction, his mother was practically not involved in the lives of her children. The future rock star was brought up by his father and grandmother. Radke's musical career began with mastering the piano and guitar. He took his first steps by playing Blink-182 hits, starting with the song Damn It. In high school, Ronnie formed several bands and later ran away from home to play with his friend Mitch in a band called 3.0. Their sound was strongly reminiscent of Blink-182. For a while, Ronald lived with Mitch and his mother, performing at local small venues. He soon returned home to his father and re-enrolled in school, but then dropped out again. The singer later said that it was hard for him to concentrate on his studies as he dreamed of music and fame. The next band of the Rebel Without a Cause was called Lefty. At a local talent show, Radke met Max Green from the band Almost Heroes. Max dropped his mic during a performance and Ronnie picked it up, so their friendship began. Together they formed the band True Story and recorded their first demo, including the track This Is Not The End. Ronald began experimenting with screaming and clean vocals, which eventually led to the formation of Escape the Fate in 2004. The project became popular in the Las Vegas post-hardcore scene thanks to Radke's energetic vocals and colorful image, and their debut demo attracted the attention of local producers. In 2006, ETF won a radio contest and signed their first label deal, releasing their debut EP There's No Sympathy for the Dead. The same year saw the release of their first full-length album Dying is Your Latest Fashion, which cemented Escape the Fate's status as one of the most promising bands on the scene. The singles from the release, Situations and Not Good Enough for the Truth and Cliché, are still considered the band's best-known works. In them, Ronnie displayed both carefree romantic adventures and themes of betrayal and disappointment. Radke became the leading creative inspiration of the band, combining melodic parts with aggressive vocals that are immediately recognizable from the first notes. In 2008, however, the vocalist's career with Escape the Fate came to an abrupt end. The court sentenced him to two and a half years in prison for violating the probation he had previously received for possession of brass knuckles, illegal in the state of Nevada. The probation was the result of his involvement in a 2006 brawl that left a man dead. These offenses were not Radke's first problems with the law. His violent lifestyle and his fascination with highly potent substances often led to conflicts and arrests. Despite his musical success, Ronnie's life was full of chaos and scandal. After his incarceration, Ronald was expelled from the ETF. Nevertheless, even in prison, he didn't give up his creativity. The artist began planning a new project, first calling it From Behind These Walls, and then renaming it Falling in Reverse. Ronnie used all available means to work on songs and keep in touch with familiar musicians on the outside. He was angry at his former Escape the Fate bandmates and dreamed of proving to everyone that his new project would eclipse all their success. Rocky wrote music every day, dreaming of returning to the stage. Later, the musician admitted that he was grateful for the prison sentence, as this experience helped him realize his mistakes, change his lifestyle and start a new chapter. Released in 2010, Ronnie quickly returned to music and released the single Raised by Wolves with Falling in Reverse. The band's first album, The Drug and Me is You, was warmly received by listeners and reached the top 20 on the Billboard chart. The release was diverse in genre and included autobiographical elements. Of course, it was not without scandals. During that period, at one of their performances, Radke threw three microphone stands into the crowd, which resulted in injuries to several spectators. The frontman apologized for the incident and claimed that his actions had no negative intentions. The success of the first album, Falling in Reverse, was the beginning of Ronnie's ascent to the top of musical Olympus. The second work of 2013, Fashionably Late, was notable for its combination of post-hardcore with elements of punk, hip-hop and electronic music. Many people didn't like such a mishmash of genres, while others appreciated the bold experiment. Two years later, the album Just Like You premiered, which returned to a more traditional post-hardcore sound, and was well received by fans. 
The title track and its music video mocked celebrities and trans, which added a satirical touch to the album. 2017 saw the release of Falling in Reverse's fourth album, Coming Home. It showcased Ronnie and his band's more mature and melodic sound. The release explores themes of loneliness, love and introspection, showcasing the band's evolution towards a more atmospheric and lyrical style. Ronnie wrote many of the lyrics for the album while sitting alone in his car. Falling in Reverse's most popular song is Popular Monster, released in 2019. In this track, Ronnie talks candidly about his struggles with depression, anger, feelings of loneliness and addictions, making the lyrics very personal. The music video, where Rocky symbolically transforms into a monster, emphasizes the visual and metaphorical depth of the composition. Personal life, like Rocky's career, is eventful. He was engaged to Chrissy Henderson, with whom he has a daughter in common. However, their wedding did not take place due to infidelity on the part of the musician. In the same period, the artist's brother Anthony died in a car accident, which was a heavy blow for the falling in reverse from man. Ronnie has been dating wrestler Soraya Beavis since 2018. At the beginning of the third decade of his life, the singer decided to resolve all old conflicts and offenses. He reconciled with the members of the band Escape the Fate, including his current vocalist Craig Mabbitt. Also, Ronnie found the strength to forgive his mother, who left him as a child. The story of Ronald Joseph Rocky is not only a journey from a turbulent youth to recognition in the music industry, but also a story of reconciliation and forgiveness. His life experience shows that through hardship, one can find true happiness and creativity in life. Watch these videos to see more fascinating transformations of your favorite rock stars. See you in the next video.